Welcome back to Learning How. Today, we are learning about John 1. John 1 is the artistic name for John Andrew Proyello, who was born in 1963. And so he is an American graffiti artist. And so and he is also from New York City, but he works in Paris. So John Wan grew up in Harlem, New York. His parents were from Dominican Republic. And so he was introduced to street art when he saw graffiti tags on subway cars and in the, um, on the city walls. He was 17 when he entered the world of graffiti art. And so his childhood friend, whose name is White Man, tagged um, John's name um, J-O-N with the numbers 156 on the walls of a train in the neighborhood and that began his career as a graffiti artist. And John Wan is quoted saying, the subway is a museum that runs through the city. So let's also take a pause and just say that graffiti is illegal. I understand that he's saying that it's art, but we should not engage in graffiti because you're destroying property. So while he's an artist and he's doing it, it is still wrong unless you obtain permission for to be able to create such art. So I just wanted to make a side note of that, the legal side. Um, but in 1984, John Wan founded a graffiti group called the 156 All Stars. He brought together a bunch of artists that would paint trains at night and they would help forget about their problems. Whatever their problems would be, he said doing graffiti helped them forget about their problems. At this time, he met an artist named Bando, who also lived in New York. And following Bando's invitation, he moved to Paris in 1987. So he began his career now in Paris. And so John Juan began his work as a painter on canvas. So instead of just tagging walls and cars, he started painting canvases at this time in a workshop, in a workshop at, a, at the Hospital Unfamiliar, which is a literal hospital that artists use as a squatting place to be able to create art in Paris. And so at an art, are you okay? Okay. At an art auction um, on June 6th in 2007, his artwork entitled Match Point, which was a large canvas that John Juan made, um, sold at a, um, to a collector for 2,000, I mean, sorry, for 24,800 euros which is about 27,000 American money. So for a lot of money. So this was the highest record for this artist that he's ever sold. And it is the highest paid artwork for graffiti art at the time. So graffiti art is now very expensive. <laughs> um, but I did want to say a really funny side story about this because I researched all these artists to be able to create this curriculum for this year. And John went, I was like, well, this is something different, something new, something that we could study, um, something a little bit modern. And um, so I created this curriculum over the summer. But recently there was a story about John Juan in the news. And so recently um, he had this paint, this mural in Japan. I guess what he, he got permission, he tagged this wall, he, made, he was commissioned to make this artwork in Japan. Except part of the display for the artwork is that he left cans of paint next to the mural. And a couple in Japan thought that it was supposed to be an interactive art display and started painting along with it. And so they totally destroyed this hugely expensive piece of art. And um, it was, they didn't, they weren't, they didn't receive, they were not in trouble like legally because it was a total mistake on their behalf. Like they just didn't know they weren't being malicious in it, but it was not interactive. It was part of the display. I guess maybe there should have been a sign, but I was just like, oh, this is our artist that we're studying. And they destroyed that piece of artwork. <laughs> Poor couple. They probably felt really bad about it. But anyway, we're going to make our own kind of contained graffiti art today. saw some of John Juan's artwork. So we are going to be doing 
Um, our next element of design, which is the teams. And we're gonna be talking about, and I lost my little piece of paper and all of this chaos. Hold oh, on, let me grab one. Oh, here it is. Okay, we're gonna be talking about um, our space. And today we're talking about positive negative space. So you're gonna receive this, which is negative space. So it's all filled in black. And then you're, so now you're gonna be using paint to create your positive space, so the, the spots that we can see. So you're going to be, um, this is not gonna be like your little canvas, pretend this is your blank slate, your blank piece of wall, your, your little train, your city wall. Um, but this is what we're gonna be decorating, is your Christmas ornament. We have enough for you to receive a few of these. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're gonna bring a box. Make sure everybody brings a box to help contain your mess. It's around Christmas time, so hopefully everybody has plenty of little boxes laying around. But um, we're not gonna use real spray paint in the classroom because I'm pretty sure that would get me kicked out of the church of <laughs> having spray paint everywhere. Because spray paint really gets everywhere. So we're gonna make our own kind of spray paint. So I have- Okay, tell us what one just has spray paint on the garage floor. Just I one second, I spray paint on the garage floor. But you're gonna receive your own little bit of paint um, on here, and then you're gonna receive a straw, and you're not gonna drink the paint, but you're gonna be able to suck up a little bit of paint, and then you're gonna be able to blow it onto your Christmas ornament to make a fun Maybe design. So James is gonna show you. Can I make a statement? What's your statement? Or two things. One, do I, do I bend it to make it curved? Um, I guess if you would want to. All right, James, let's show us how it's done. Mmm, crunchy. James. So he's gonna make his own little design. Okay, you can choose a different color. Good job. I'm not sure if you're supposed to mix them like that. That's gonna come out looking like somebody barf. That's the point. <laughs> Try to get the other sides. All right. I tried to make a tie dye. Nice. So as he finishes up, you can see that you're going to be able to make your own little spray paint art on your Christmas ornament. It looks very lovely. Good job, James. My tie dye. Very good. Well, start thinking about how you want to spray paint your own graffiti Christmas ornaments. Enjoy. See you soon.